Adam, uh, much improved defensive performance at Kidderminster the weekend, but you only managed to get a point from that game, which at the moment is probably not enough. No, oh, yeah, we've um, highlighted where we can improve, and um, like I say, it's good good start base in terms of um, keeping a clean sheet. Uh, but now we've definitely got to find a way to um, you know create more going uh, the other direction as well. Um, you know, I just thought in the first two games we was. Um, conceding too many and not creating enough, but you know, we've put a um, good start to, to keeping the, the ball out of our net. Now we need to, you know, we just showed the lads a couple of um, elements of our play which we hope will enable us to, to, to get in the final third of a few more occasions. And we'll talk about the top end in a second, but defensively, as you said, I think it's probably the the most secure York City have been in a number, a number of weeks. I don't think your goalkeeper really was called into action at all, really, on Saturday. Um, there was, yeah, a few that went sort of straight down the middle at George. Um, you know, again, I thought they got in some good areas, um, and their final ball wasn't quite there on the day. Um, and so, with us, I thought, um, you know, first off, we got the ball into the final third, and you know, there was one in particular. I think uh, Billy Chavit didn't quite arrive at the far post, but if he does, he's probably got a tap in there. Um, so, you know, just showing them that you know we, we can still um, create. We're going the other way, but we still need to, you know, be secure uh, defensively. So, yeah, it's just uh, getting that balance right now. Um, we obviously, with the travelling fans, um, who were superb, we want to give them more to to cheer going um, in front of goal. Um, almost certain that we've got to do that. Um, but yeah, it's all in all, I thought the the aggression and the determination to kick the ball out of our net was definitely there. Do you split the team up into? I don't know, so many players that are there basically on Saturday to defend and then you've got the extra creative players. I'm thinking of the two you played in midfield, which I think most York City supporters would agree with. Batty and Woodyard are probably the two best central midfielders, but they've only had one assist between them all season. How do you go about getting them to play more balls forward and maybe join in with attacks on a more regular basis? No, yeah, there's definitely um, an element of that. I think with the the two and the two that we played, uh, which, you know, you use... Um, quick to pick out on the little change of shape there, but yeah, I think also we've got to have our fullbacks drawn in a bit more. Um, so that was one element that we showed. If the two centre midfielders are playing a bit deeper, then it gives license to the fullbacks to join in, and then we can, you know, they can provide our width a little bit more um, with the the two sort of number tens in there as well. So um, yeah, we uh, shown them them sort of elements um, of the game and. Um, yeah, I thought the, the the work rate that they they get through, um, you know, it's been excellent in the, in the first two games, and um, yeah, we're asking maybe a di- bit different from them. Um, they're probably not going to create as much with them playing a bit deeper. Um, but yeah, we want the fullbacks to, to get on and. Um, be creating a little bit more as well. You're having to sort of experiment on the fly, really, aren't you? Which clearly isn't an ideal situation for anybody. No, it's not. Um, but you know. It's, it's, we, we had to look at it, had to address things in the first two games and, and look at ways that we can start getting results. So to get that first point, get a clean sheet, um, like I say, it's, it could be a good point, but we've got to back it up um, tomorrow night with coming away with something. You've got to come away with a win, haven't you? It's looking pretty desperate at the minute when you look at that league table. Not just the points difference, but the goal difference now is worse than the other sides and a few of them have got games in hand as well. Yeah, we've got to, like I say, um, away from home Tuesday. Um, you know, we've got to go to, to win games of football. Um, that's got to be the. That's how I try to set my teams up. Um, you know, have done for numerous years now to go and not just be happy getting points, but to, to win games, and that's definitely the, the the aim for us at the moment. Are you still confident there's enough in this squad to get those results that you need? Of course, yeah. I mean. Um, We've got to keep believing, like I say, it's, uh, it could be a great point for us and it could um, you know, be the catalyst to, to start us on a little run and um, that's the way we've all got to be believing now. Um, you know, like I say, I thought um, you know, the work rate, the determination, the effort was definitely there and you know, we've got to apply that and we've got to be a bit braver to still make some more passes and um, you know, create a little bit more going that way. Availability wise, everyone okay? Everyone come through okay? Um, there's a couple sort of struggling. Uh, 
Ducky come on and rolled his ankle and uh, Leon um, felt some tightness in his groin as well so they're two that you know we'll have to look at um, whether they can be available for tomorrow night. How's Danny Amos? He's getting there. He should be training Thursday. Um, yeah, after his, his calf problem, um, you know, we had a, a good group training. Um, Kai Kennedy seeing the specialist, so he might be available to train Thursday. Um, Danny Amos might be available Thursday, and um, you know, we had uh, Crooksy on the grass running as well. So we're hoping that you know there's going to be a few more players available to us in, in the upcoming weeks. Well, now John Lewis hasn't started a game for you yet. Is he available to start? Would you be prepared to throw him in for the start to maybe offer that little bit different upside, maybe alongside Depot? Yeah, definitely. It's definitely an option for us. Um, you know, one thing you can say about Len is a, a real, real leader amongst the group. Um, you know, he's if he's not playing, then you know he's driving standards and, and stuff like that. I can't speak highly enough for the sort of older players that we've got like that in the group, and uh, Len's definitely one of them. But yeah, he's a available to start definitely. We know you want to play attacking, entertaining football. You have to change your philosophy a little bit on Saturday. Everyone appreciates why. When you go to a place like Altrincham, where the pitch, even their own manager says the pitch is a, a bit of a mess, you're probably not going to be able to play that again, are you? No, yeah, we've just got to get the balance right. I think um, there were still times on Saturday that we could have made a few um, more passes and got the ball into a better area to, to then potentially uh, play it forward into into forward areas. Um, so it's just showing the showing the players and just us getting the balance right. Um, but, but do you, do you take do you, do you take note of the the appearance of the pitch before you yeah. get there? Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, seen it, seen, you know, it's not in, in brilliant. It doesn't look by the naked eye. Um, we're hoping for a bit of a surprise when we turn. Up tomorrow, but they're a team that likes to play football as well. So, um, you know, we, we just, I think it's important that we just get the balance right. What do you make of Altrincham? Because they've obviously fallen away slightly in this last few weeks, but they've had a great season before then. No, they certainly have. Um, you know, play like to play uh, good football, um, and they've got players that, especially in those forward areas, that, that can hurt you on the day. So, um, you know, again, another team that you can't take lightly. Um, we've got to focus on, on the stuff that we can do better, but um, and definitely got to show the same um, spirit and determination that we show to, to keep the ball up on it. And do you focus on individual players in the opposition? No, Chris Conclark's got lots of admirers across the National League. He's regarded as one of the best players in the National League. I know Working did a man-to-man -man job on him on Saturday. Are they the sorts of things that come into your thinking as well? No, yeah, definitely. Um, sit down with the, all, the, all the team and, and, and go through the opposition and, and their strengths and, and their weaknesses and um, you know see how we can counteract that with um, ourselves being uh, able to, to create chances as well. There'll be another great following as well from York City tomorrow night. It's not too far altering him. Do you feel as though you just need that one win and that one win will then give you the momentum that you can hopefully push on from? Yeah, definitely. I think it's, it's massive. Um, you know, we, we're all striving for it. Um, I say I understand the, the frustrations of, of the supporters because they're, they're supporting a, a really big club um, and you know they do travel in their numbers um, but yeah we're, we're really grafting to try and get that first win. Thank you. Hi Adam. Hi yeah. um, Phil Brown was critical after the game saying that you completely confused him with your tactics that they brought you in to be an attacker and you did nothing of the sort. Are you damned if you do and if you're damned if you don't? Yeah possibly um, but you know, we've got to come up with the right tactics to, to make sure we're, we're winning games of football. Um, that's the that's the key at the moment. Um, you know, we've we've got to get the balance right. Still feel we could have made some more passes on on Saturday, and uh, you know we we didn't we didn't do that enough. And I think that's why we probably lacked the thrust in in forward areas. Altingham have lost six out of the last seven. Are they ripe for the taking tomorrow? Uh, potentially, they'll be looking to obviously. You know, get uh, back on winning ways, and, and we're most certainly trying to do all we can to, to like say, um, kickstart something here. And, and you know, we need we need those three points to come sooner rather than later as well. And what's the key to beating them then? What you know, what what, what do you think will, will make that difference between a draw and a win? Yeah, just go, going off of off Saturday. Obviously, it's going to be different different opponents, different shape, different styles of play. Um, but for me, just making um, an extra pass when we can, um, not going back to front, 
um, in one pass all the time. But you know, centre halves and, and full backs being brave and, and centre midfield players to, to get on the ball and, and make one extra pass, two extra passes will will really help us. Um, so yeah, we've got to, got to focus on that, focus on ourselves. Um, but yeah, obviously, you know, keep that. Um, defending spirit that we showed. How's Leon Gravata? Obviously he didn't have the best of starts, but it's a step up. How is he? No, yeah, um, obviously come in and um, you know felt his boy and go quite early on in in, uh, in the game, but you know wanted to um, show what he could do. Um, and you know he, he, he's definitely one that's obviously a bit disappointed with the start he's made and, and wants to work hard to, to, to put it right in the foreseeable future. With regards to the, the team tomorrow, um, what have you got available to you? Will it be any sort of significant changes or were you happy that at least now you've got something to move forward with? Yeah, I think there's, there's a nucleus there um, to, to, to move forward with, um, a base, but I also feel that it's probably going to need freshen up as well. The, the lads have got through uh, you know, a big shift uh, since we've come in, so we've got to get that balance right of, you know, Keeping keeping the team um, fresh um, because, um, like I say, it's, it's been been a tough couple of weeks for them. Um, but at the same time, we don't want to lose, you know, what we have created as well. With regards to the number of points needed for survival, Neil Ardley always removed going for that fifty mark. Do you think you're capable of getting eleven more points in in the season? That's definitely yeah, got to be the, the, the task. But ultimately, all we can focus on is is, is Tuesday night and um, making sure that we're doing all we can to come away with three points. You hinted that there are a couple of arrivals. We've had one. Any more in the offing? Um, we'll um, yeah, we're speaking to the relevant people today to see what we can do to to, to make that happen. But um, you know, it's. Nothing before Tuesday, definitely, but you know, won't rule anything out before Saturday. Is it really tough though? I mean, everybody's looking for great players, aren't they? Of course they are, yeah, at uh, this sort of stage of the season. Um, you know, but one thing we can offer here is a, is a really big, big club to come and be part of. And, uh, you know, when you are able to offer that, then, um, you know, it's a bit more appealing to players. It's been a baptism of fire. How are you relishing it? Yeah, um, obviously stepped out of my comfort zone um, and I've heard that word used a lot, uh, baptism of fire, um, but you know, just absolutely loving working on the grass with the players day in and day out and um, obviously I would have liked to have come in and, and got more points in the first three games, but you know, me and all the staff are doing all we can, we're working really hard to, to make sure that we're improving and, and being better from game to game. Good luck for tomorrow. Thank you. Callum Howe this afternoon has been named in the team of the week for the Vanarama uh, team of the week for this week. What do you make of his performance of the weekend? No, yeah, I thought him and um, you know Will Smith were excellent. Two centre halves. <clears throat> Probably been asked to play in the, in the first couple of games when I come in a bit of a different role in terms of bringing the ball up from the back and leading the tags. But um, you know I thought their defensive display made a couple of great blocks, Callum, and you know he's he's really good in the air and you know just showed them today just little improvements to. Um, our line. Um, we conceded a goal against Fylde where our defensive line from a throne was too deep. So to just show them on Saturday that that was a lot better and their footwork to drop off to go and attack the board is little bits of detail that we've been really pleased with in, in all the defenders. Is that something you're looking to build on again going into tomorrow night against Aldringham? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, to um, build on that defensive solidity. Um, but, you know, we're under no illusions that we need to create more as well. Overall in training, you happy with what you're seeing so far? Yeah, the lads are, are working really hard. Um, you know, we've got um, a lot of players to see and, and get through, and, you know, we've got some young players as well. Um, so it's not even two weeks in yet to, to see everybody uh, has, has been tough, but um, you know we're doing our utmost to try and do that. Have you managed to have those individual meetings? Yet? I know we spoke when you first came in about you know a chance to do it. Have you had a chance to do that now? Yeah, getting there, working our way through, um, you know, some individual stuff, and, and just keep showing like. Cam with his analysis is constantly just showing clips to the players and uh, Gary's working with the, the footwork like we said about um, with the back line and you know it's good to see some of that coming into fruition already. And what's morale like in the camp at the moment? Um, obviously the 
really determined. Um, you know, we know we've we've got to keep on working and grafting, and but there's a belief there. Uh, there's a belief there, and I'm hoping that you know that we can take that belief uh, into tomorrow night's game. Good luck tomorrow. Thank night. you. Hello, is it my turn? Hi, yeah, I think so. Yeah, oh yeah. Hello, Hi, um, yeah. nice to see you. And you. So, this is your fourth game now as manager. Um, how are you feeling about this next game? Yeah, feeling confident? I know maybe Saturday wasn't the result you wanted, but how are you feeling about the game tomorrow? No, yeah, obviously, um, would have been nice going into the fourth game with more points on the board, 100%. That was the, the plan when we come in, but um, you know, it hasn't panned out that way. Um, we can't be feeling sorry for ourselves and and you know wishing on things. We've, we've got to make it happen, and that's the message uh, to the players that you know we can't keep talking about what a big club we're at. Um, you know we, we've got to fight and show um, every time we get together for training, every every match, and you know that's got to be no different tomorrow night. Absolutely. And what are you expecting from your opposition? Are there any things you're like look, going to be looking out for defensively or anything like that? Um, they're um, a team that's having a bit of a bad run, so they're obviously keen to try and get their season back on track as well. Um, generally, like to, to play play football and play um, a passing possession-based game, and like they're the play with two wide players, nice and high, that come inside. So, you know, there's. Um, yeah, lots um, that they do really well and stuff that we've got to be wary of, but at the same time we'll be looking to implement what we can do as well. Uh, I understand you made some changes ahead of the lineup on Saturday's oh. game. Have you got any plans to do that tomorrow? Is there any sort of like, anything like that going to be happening? Um, yeah, we've got to, got to look at potentially freshening it up a little bit. Um, I think the lads have, have got through a lot of work rate, right, especially in the middle of the pitch. So, you know, we've got to look at that um, and you know make sure that we, we pick the right team that goes with lots of energy. Thank you. And obviously, you know, this is a lot of pressure. I can understand you must be under a certain amount of pressure just because York City are kind of a bit, you know, pretty close to the drop zone. How are you kind of? feeling just so far as manager like how I know there's been some disappointing results but how are you finding it? Um, yeah look, no one puts more pressure on themselves than me to win games of football so whenever I'm not doing that as a manager then I, I, I put that pressure on myself um, always have done and, and probably always will do I know you hear it from all these um, managers that have been in the game a long time not to get too high not to get too low but you know, you can probably tell I'm, I'm quite honest and you can tell that I'm bitterly disappointed after a game and, um, you know, I do take it home, take it personally, so no one puts more pressure on than myself to, to win games of football and um, I'll probably always be that way.